Hi, I'm Katie Hacker, your host. Earlier in the series, we talked about glamorous and how to wear dramatic looks every day. But how about the flip side of that equation? What if your personal style is very natural and easy, geared to everyday wear? This style may not be as dramatic, but it's an important part of casual style. One of the elements of casual is that effortless look, which leads to this first design. Knotting really is easy and quick. Take a look at this red bracelet that I made. It features a crystal in the center, and it has a couple of metal beads and some red faux suede lace. So it's a really easy design that you can whip up and wear every day, and you could make them in a lot of different colors. So the way that you get started is using faux suede lace, and I cut about 18 inches, so that's half a yard of material. And then you could use any type of open ring in the center. This is a larger crystal ring, but you could use any, really any shape here. And geometric shapes, of course, are so good for this kind of design. So anything with an open center. And you pass the fold through the center of the ring. And then you're going to bring those cord ends through that loop that's created. And this is called a lark's head knot. So that's a basic macrame knot that you can use in any kind of design with leather cord. Then you're going to pass the ends of your cord through a large hole metal bead. And of course, metal beads just add a little bit more style to any kind of jewelry piece, a little bit more flair. Now for an overhand knot, what you'll do is wrap the cords around your finger. And then I just kind of loosen up this loop here and pass the ends through. If you were using very delicate stringing material, you might need to use a beading awl to make sure that this knot stays nice and tight against that large hole bead. But in this case, you can just use your fingers and pull the cord ends against it. Then you can kind of adjust your material so that the knot is situated on top. And if you take a look at this piece here, I've already knotted to both sides. So it's the same process, lark's head knot, then your metal bead, then an overhand. Now to make this bracelet adjustable, and this is great for gift giving because then it will fit anybody. You take your cord ends and you wrap one side around the opposite cords. Now this is where the adjustable part comes in. You want to place these ends through the loop so that they're extending in the same direction as the bracelet. So like that, rather than having them sticking out the other side, you have them going toward your focal section and you do the same thing on the other side. So you wrap it around and then pass it through. And this is a great design for men too, so it really can be a really versatile technique. You tie it again, and you'll see that you can adjust these then along the length of the bracelet to make it larger or smaller. And that just gives you a really fun look. Now, you could trim up these ends a little bit, and you're done. That's it. So if you take a look at the red bracelet, this one, same idea, but with smaller elements. It's going to make it a little um, less in your face and a little more every day. And then for the necklace, what I did was tie a lark's head knot to that crystal red magma disc pendant and then pass it through a metal bead again. And I also tied adjustable knots at the back. And for a guy, you could also use just a metal ring. And you can make this really translate into a lot of different kinds of styles.